Is it meant to be what you can do with that shit? God damn! Goku's training for Namek was insane. Training for Namek was absolutely insane. I just and said one of the early moments in DBZ where we see what a <laughs> filthy, snarling, junkyard dog Kakarot really is. No, got that in this dog, video, you know? we're going to analyze this legendary training camp and the aftermath. But first, we're going to take a look at the events leading up to Goku stepping foot in that spaceship. Okay. So let's backtrack to the end of the Saiyan saga when Goku faced off against Vegeta. I can't Vegeta. with Goku's stance, bro. What the hell is this, bro? Like, your, your, your hands, your arm is on your knee, your other hand is on. I can't get with Vegeta. You ain't no better either. I ain't going to cap. Like, what the fuck is this? C come on, man. He was fresh off the best training of his life until that point at King Kai's planet, and he came to the rescue of the Z fighters that were still alive. He easily took care of Nappa, but he couldn't get past Vegeta. Nah, again, that, Vegeta like, just proved crazy. to be stronger, faster, the better fighter overall. Even after pulling out all the stops and surpassing Vegeta's max power for a little while with the Kaioken times three, and then the Kaioken times four Kamehameha it still wasn't enough to finish off Vegeta. And now Goku's left depleted while Vegeta transforms into the Great Ape and just cripples Goku. Goku loses this fight, oh, but Vegeta ends up losing the battle after the Z Fighters throw everything but the kitchen sink oh, at him. Krillin's about to put an end to the Prince of All Saiyans, but Goku stops him, <laughs> telling him to spare him. The first reason is because, who knows, he might have a change of heart like Piccolo did. Let's at least show him mercy and give him a chance. But the other reason, and this ties back Goku to Goku being a junkyard that. dog, bro, is that he wants to fight him again. This oh, is why man. we love Goku, man. This that is was doggy! Oh, God, that was doggy! He said he wanted to beat his ass again. That was doggy's hell, you guys can't get That was doggy's hell. They're broken and battered on the floor. They barely beat Vegeta through the skin of their teeth, and he's about to let him go because he wants to fight this maniac yeah, again. That, that, what an animal. That's, oh, so man. some time passes, and Bulma, Krillin, and Gohan head over to Namek to collect the Dragon Ball so they can wish the fallen warriors on Earth back to the planet stronger than ever. <laughs> but also, there's an ongoing genocide led by an alien named Frieza, who's even stronger than Vegeta, and they don't even know the half of it. And both Frieza with his goons and Vegeta are also hunting goons, for the Dragon Ball. So they're going through it <laughs> bad. Meanwhile on Earth, Goku just can't wait to start training again. So he was like a kid in a candy store when Yajirobe, the goat of the Saiyan Saga right next to Bubbles, brings Goku some Senzu beans. Goku takes one and just busts through the cast he was in and goes to Dr. Brief and asks if his ship is ready to go to Namek. Dr. Brief tells Goku it's ready and as per Goku's request, he installed a gravity simulator that goes up to 100 times Earth's gravity. After foolishly not wanting to wait for the cappuccino machine to be installed, Goku takes off for Namek and has only 6 days to prepare for the challenge. Six so he's gotta do something crazy to get to the level he needs to be at. And he's fitting to do just that. Let's go. Goku starts out training at 20 times Earth's gravity, which is double what he was doing at King Kai's planet. Mm -hmm. We basically get to see bits and pieces of his training while we see the events unfold at planet Namek. And every time we do, he's either training to exhaustion, Damn. eating, or sleeping, with the occasional bath. But things just yeah, ramp up more bad. and more each time we see him. First, we see him doing lunges, then 10,000 sit-ups, 10, then these handstand push-ups where he's balancing a barbell on his feet, then we got 10,000 one-handed push-ups, then repping out who knows how many of these weighted punches. <laughs> so he moves up to 30 times gravity, and then he gets a surprise call from King Kai. King Kai fills him in that Piccolo, Tien, Yamcha, and Chao Tzu made it to his planet and are getting ready for their own training. Train Goku's hyped to hear from his boys and he fills them in on the situation on Namek. That's when King Kai asks, Hey yo, that guy on Namek who's stronger than Vegeta, his name isn't Frieza, is it? He scopes out the planet with his satellite antenna and what he sees leaves him absolutely <laughs> shook. He tells Goku, don't you dare provoke Frieza while you're over there. Just stay that out nigga, of his way. That nigga He's is him. Gonna None of you stand Frieza. even close to a prayer of a chance against him. Goku's like, come on, really? <laughs> but King Kai is just screaming at Yo, them to stay. Yo, look how big that nigga mouth is. Imagine what he could do with that shit. God damn away from Frieza and then Piccolo puts his hand on Goku's shoulder to communicate with him. I love this scene right here because Piccolo is one of the good guys now and he just gave his life to protect Goku's son so they have a great mutual respect. They're boys and Piccolo's like nah man don't worry <laughs> with you me Gohan and Krillin we should be able to take him down no problem. <laughs> 
<laughs> One detail I always loved is when you flash forward towards the end of the Namek Saga, when everyone's gotten so much stronger, but Frieza is still infinitely stronger than everyone combined. Uh, and Piccolo with smiles that and he's so like, nasty. King Kai was right this whole time. We never had a chance. <laughs> Man, Frieza Wait, was just ain't different. About to get sniped? But Goku didn't care. King Kai's warning just made him even more amped up and no, hyped he got for Namek. Goku's up. also different. These guys are just built different, I'm telling you. Next up, we see Goku training in 50 times gravity, just throwing his hands. Look at him go. And as he's on the floor exhausted, he uses Frieza as motivation to get up and keep grinding. Then his next workout ends up almost being his last. He's doing these hanging sit-ups, completely wiping himself? himself out, when his ship starts soaring through a violent magnetic storm that messes with the gravity machine. It's now bouncing around between 80 and 100 times Earth's gravity, a level that Goku just isn't ready for, especially not while exhausted and oh, hanging yeah, upside like, down. As he's getting tortured by the gravity, he tries to get up and untie his feet. That doesn't work. Damn. Then he tries using an energy blast to cut the cord that's holding his feet together. But, it won't but the energy blast Damn. comes right back at him and clocks him. I don't even remember his this last shit. ditch effort is he starts swanging, and after building up momentum, he uses Kaioken for a second to finally free himself. Turns off the gravity machine and takes a Senzu bean to fully recover. Hey, after just why barely escaping death, like he's chilling. I don't know who your favorite anime protagonist is, probably some skinny teenager, but they're not built like Goku, man. Yeah, they're just he's, not. He's cooking. He, so now he, he's training he's in 100 times gravity, and his progress is just skyrocketing. He's really getting the hang of it now. Since he can't move the gravity any higher, he's got to up the stakes and leave nothing on the line. So we see him later beaten up, training with 100% intensity like usual, and then fires off three Kamehameha at himself and tanks the blast. Uh, he's on death's door that's, again that's and has different. to crawl to get that's another different. Senzu bean. Again, he fully recovers and goes right back to it. Rinse and repeat. At this point, we see one of the secrets of his rapid progress is the Senzu beans. Because of them, he gets to train non-stop without rest at his highest level. Which makes his six days more like six beans. weeks. But also, since he's training to the point of death, his Saiyan biology makes his body adapt every time he recovers, and he gets a big power boost from just that. And one more reason for his insane progress that I don't see talked about much is this. I think Goku was hitting his stride as a fighter. His true Saiyan potential was just starting to be unleashed. I think living on Earth where the enemies he faced were relatively weak was really hindering his potential. So when he trades hands with someone on the caliber of Vegeta and hears about someone way stronger than even him and Frieza, that goalpost was moved and he was just at that point in his life that where he was about him. to level. I'm the one that can see John Cena. Yeah, I'm the one that knows Victoria's Secret. I'm the one that knows what the dog is doing. Yeah, I'm that guy, I'm him, I'm him. Love dramatically. We know that Saiyans tend to rise to the level of their challenge, and he sure did because next up in his training, we see him taking the same kind of damage that nearly killed him last time, but now he's perfectly fine. And he eventually masters the 100 times gravity and drops it back to normal gravity to get acclimated back to that. And he's amazed at his new powers. Tell you, Goku, Goku finally bro. lands on Namek and he comes to hey, the rescue again in a right similar there. way that he did on Earth against Nappa and Vegeta. But this time, instead of fighting Vegeta, he was one of the ones he saved from the Ginyu Force. Goku beats Raccoon in one blow and treats Burger and Jace like they were Raccoon. clowns. He improved so much that he had Vegeta shook, thinking he had become a Super Saiyan. How the tables have turned. Then later, when showing Captain Ginyu the Kaioken, he makes him have a nervous breakdown. And he knew he was him too. He was so cocky. Trying to take that you nigga guys body. think only Vegeta is cocky? <laughs> nah, when Goku knows he's him, he's super cocky. He just shows it in a different way. He gives you that condescending smile, or if he's pissed, it's a glaring look. And he likes standing there still, just basking in the ambience. He did it here, he did it against Nappa, he does it after getting out of the recovery chamber later, and of course he does it when he becomes a super saiyan damn imagine just looking up and you see that shit and taking that blast and just yeah that's when i just okay run. so on a side <laughs> note let's get into the numbers real quick i'm not a big power levels guy but it's worth noting for the video goku's power level at the start of the namek training would have been around 10,500, and at the end it was 90,000. Damn. so he became about eight and a half times stronger in six days not to mention he was able to multiply his kaioken even more now but he couldn't keep training like this in my opinion it wasn't sustainable long term, even for a Saiyan. He would have gotten diminishing returns, plateaued, maybe plateaued. even died. But it was really effective for a season. 
And that wraps up the video for today. Hey, w this was video, such a man. legendary training that camp with a Goku really satisfying. It's fucking juiced up on fucking senso beans, man. What the hell? I think I'm using the fucking beans, dog. Mm -hmm.